Today we're talking yet again about cancer and cancer trials. This time we're going to be talking about breast cancer. There has been another cancer trial for breast cancer patients that has demonstrated extremely promising results. This one did not make the cancer disappear entirely, unlike the study in the previous video that we saw, but a certain larger group of breast cancer patients did experience reduction in tumor growth for months on end. And this is for hundreds of people. This is the first time such a result has been observed in an advanced breast cancer trial. And once again, it is a big deal. The drug that is used is a chemotherapy drug, but it belongs to a new class of drugs developed, which can target cancer cells to a reasonable extent. This was not available and is not available with standard chemotherapy, which also kills healthy cells. Of the over 500 people in the study, the ones who received the drugs were all in remission for a while, which meant that their tumor did not grow and they continued to stay so for 10 months or more. This was compared to patients who received standard chemotherapy as a part of the trial, where average rates of stagnation in growth was about 5 months or so. Survival time also went up with average survival time of at least two full years for people on the drug as compared to about an average of 16 months for the standard chemo group. These numbers might not really seem like much, but this actually is a huge breakthrough in cancer treatment. So what is this drug? How does it work? And who is it going to help? The drug that was used in this trial is called Trastezumab d rexican sold under the brand name Enherto, manufactured jointly by AstraZeneca and Daichi Sankyo. The study was also sponsored by them, by these two pharmaceutical companies, and it was a phase 3 trial. Phase 3 trials, as some of us might be aware of, occurs after a drug or a vaccine or a therapeutic is tested for safety and efficacy. And in fact, this drug has actually already been approved in the United States as of April. The FDA approved this particular drug to treat a certain set of breast cancer patients who produce really high levels of a protein called the Human Epidermal Growth Factor Receptor 2 or HER2. This protein is the target for the drug and it is actually produced naturally by our own bodies. However, one in five or so patients of breast cancer produce very high levels of HER2 which causes the cancerous tumors to also fill up with this protein. Such cancers are extremely aggressive and malignant and tend to spread very quickly. The drug, which is essentially a chemotherapy drug, targets these cells and HER2 positive breast cancer patients respond very well to this treatment. This much we already know because the drug is approved for them. Those who produce high levels of HER2 protein are called HER2 positive breast cancer patients, while those who produce trace amounts or low amounts are just called HER2 low patients. This study looked at HER2 low patients who didn't have very high levels for this efficient targeted drug to work. This is still a large group of people as not everyone produces high levels of HER2 in their bodies. Some have just trace amounts and it has previously been observed in trials that drugs that are similar to the one that was tested out in this trial don't really work on HER2 low patients. But in this trial, the researchers found that this new drug enters any cell with any amount of HER2 protein on its surface meaning that the drug will enter HER2 low patient cells as well, moving through cell membranes and in between cancer cells. So how does this type of targeted therapy work with this drug? The drug molecule that acts on the cancer cells is a chemotherapy drug molecule. And these are attached to antibodies. These antibodies are scouting our system constantly for the HER2 protein on the surface of cells and when they find a cell like that, they go and bind to the HER2 receptor, slowing down the replication of those cells. These are monoclonal antibodies which then get absorbed into the cell as well and along with it, the antibody carries the chemotherapy drug molecule that's attached to it. Once this combination enters the cell, the drug molecule detaches itself from the antibody 
and activates and destroys the cancerous cell. These kind of drugs belong to a new class of drugs called antibody drug conjugates which are targeted therapies for treating cancer as compared to standard chemotherapy drugs which also destroy healthy cells. These cells use the targeting abilities of monoclonal antibodies and carry with them the cancer-killing drugs. This combination can recognize healthy cells from cancerous cells and know exactly which ones to destroy. Trastuzumab, which we have actually been familiar with for a couple of decades and have used, is the humanized monoclonal antibody here, which identifies these cells. d is the chemotherapy drug. This drug is in fact a type of drug called a topoisomerase inhibitor, which means that it prevents cells from making structural changes to their DNA and also from replicating. So when these cancerous cells which have the drug inside them attempt to perform cell division, they get corrupted. DNA damage occurs and the cell gets destroyed. This is how at a cellular molecular level, this drug destroys cancer cells. The drug also produced the normal side effects that chemotherapy produces such as fever, headaches, susceptibility to other infections, loss of sleep, rashes, nausea and vomiting to various degrees of severity with actually in fact three patients dying due to lung injuries. These are of course very serious adverse events and sadly for cancer treatment such adverse events are not really uncommon. The authors note that serious adverse events occurred in over 52% of the patients who received the drug and among those who received standard chemotherapy, there were over 67% who experienced serious adverse effects. 12% of the participants who received this drug developed drug-related lung disease, which also unfortunately is a common side effect of chemotherapy. These numbers are actually quite frightening, but in fact, they are an improvement over standard chemotherapy by all measures. Trastuzumab d or TDXT is used in advanced stages of breast cancer only and it's not really suitable for early stages because there haven't been enough trials and there haven't been enough studies that show benefit. These findings provide an effective alternative to standard chemotherapy for HER2 low breast cancer patients, improving their rates of survival and remission pretty drastically for cancer. The drug is not expected to beat breast cancer. It is not a cure for cancer. Patients, in fact, have to keep taking the drug as long as their bodies can tolerate the medication. However, this is still one of the few instances of a cancer drug of an HER2 targeting drug that can be used on the more common HER2 low breast cancer patients who are already at an advanced stage of their disease. It's also a great advantage for public health because it provides an identifiable and targetable population of advanced breast cancer patients who can be immediately isolated and deliver the drug for efficient treatment. <laughs>